And one last thing, to memorize speeches and presentations. Also, you can have a very large cardboard prepared with a mind map. And when you deliver your presentation, instead of taking to the classroom uh, just a cardboard with maybe some words written on that, uh, written there, and that might be boring for the rest of the classroom. When you take a mind map, when you do mind maps, that catches automatically catches the attention of your public, of your audience. So it is great to do to use mind maps in, in that way. This is another example of how delivering presentations with mind maps can be very, very useful in the life of a young student. <laughs>